Sun, the White House today unveiling new economic sanctions against North Korea. President Trump says that they are the most severe ever imposed on Pyongyang. CBS 4's Mola Lange is in Washington with more. The White House continues to ramp up the pressure on North Korea. Today, the Treasury Department is announcing a new round of sanctions against Pyongyang. The move comes a day after President Trump designated the country a state sponsor of terrorism. Our maximum pressure campaign to isolate the murderous regime. It's been more than 60 days since Kim Jong-un's regime conducted any missile tests or launches. Mr. Trump said its weapons program was only one factor in the decision. In addition to threatening the world by nuclear devastation, North Korea has repeatedly supported acts of international terrorism, including assassinations on foreign soil. The president cited the case of Kim's half-brother, who was assassinated when two women smeared poison on his face at an airport in Malaysia. As we take this action today, our thoughts turn to Otto Warmbier. Wonderful young man. The president also noted the death of Otto Warmbier, an American college student who died after being held at a North Korean labor camp. The leaders of South Korea, Japan, and Australia welcomed the U.S. sanctions, but China's foreign minister wasn't as enthusiastic. He said the moves would make Kim less open to denuclearization talks. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. And look for much more on the Trump presidency tonight on the CBS Evening News. That's at 6.30 after the CBS 4 News at 6.